I'm making a review for the Wisp Testress Whisper Air Pump. The shape of silence. This air pump is pretty strong for like a 20 gallon tank. I don't recommend it using for a 60 gallon, only if you have like one thing connected to it or two things. But as you can see it I have it running two underground underground filter. One little air pad, I think that's what's called, and that. and also it comes in this box. It looks like that. It's a little messy because I just set it up and everything. It comes with two output holes, so you have to get a. It comes with an adapter to connect those two if you're only going to run it through one line and you can also see every single part of it it's labeled not every single but some of it I highly highly recommend it if you have like a 60 gallons you might want to get like a one for up to an 80 gallons if you're going to be running multiple things see um this air pump is for a 60 gallons, but I'm using it for a 20 gallon because I have it connected to multiple things. And it's a very good, powerful air pump, I can tell you that. I have it connected to a gain valve back here, and this is on it low. If I open the whole thing up, this bubble will be much more here. Check out the bubbles when it's not even open all the way. And I'm going to open it all the way. Even with all the other stuff that other stuff turned on. See, it's pretty strong. Here, if I turn off the light, you can see it. It's pretty strong, and the other things are still running as good. I just don't like it too high, because I like it low and simple. I'm a simple guy, sometimes. Not really. I'm just kidding. And it's because it will just shake the water too much, and the water is already not really stable. It's just, like, moving around because I have the underground filters and everything. But I really like this air pump. I got it on Amazon for tw an incredible $12. $12 is pretty cheap. Good luck with your fish tank, and hopefully you like, subscribe, and... Drop comments down below. Thank you.